Make that big boss less special It ain't no game, but they say I'm Welcome to the second level In the long reach, you play as Calvin throughout the game. This is an example of the lies and deception we have in store for you. Reads the press release from the long-awaited horror adventure title from Painted Black Games. What on earth are they going on about, I thought. Within the first three to five minutes of the game, I figured it out. The long reach loves to play with your perception of reality. It's quite the odd affair. On the surface, it seems like a relatively low-key indie title with pixel-based art and a strong narrative. It definitely is all of those things, but digging deeper under the surface leads to a nightmare world full of outside-the-box thinking, tough-as-nails puzzles, and some relatively graphic scenes that I, as a horror fan, thoroughly enjoyed. The Long Reach forces you to be uncomfortable. Not in the same way that the Count of Lucanor did, more so by refusing to hold your hand in anything. We're so used to being spoon-fed the answers on puzzle-based games these days, where the challenges are basically a mild inconvenience. The Long Reach is having none of that. There were instances playing this game where I would wander around clicking X in the dark in the mere hope of finding a clue to continue, or find myself going back to the same room four, five, six times just to see if I missed something. There are a lot of what feel to be dead ends that can be worked through with just a little ingenuity. Sometimes you'll be trying to pull off some madcap idea you had in the hopes that it's even possible, only to fucking nail it on the 10th attempt and be dead proud of yourself for sticking it out that long. The sense of smug satisfaction gained from overcoming some of the game's more difficult puzzles is well worth the time invested. If you have played Coma, or one of my favorite indie games of last year, Detention, you'll have a rough idea of what to expect here. The difference largely being that the western leanings of the Long Reach really shine through, and this game is a lot more fully formed than those previously mentioned. The sense of consistent dread might be lesser so than that with the Asian titles, but you do have sincere moments of it, and big payoffs for your trouble. Alongside that, the puzzles are a lot more fully formed, and the narrative runs a lot deeper in the long reach. The story trickles in scene by scene, and despite thinking you have a full grasp on what's happening, because of the nature of the problem, hallucinogenic breakdowns, you can never really be quite sure that you do, or that anyone is who they say they are. The game loves to fuck with you in that sense, consistently making you question your surroundings and even your progress. The in-game NPCs go from worshipping a random guy called Alan to worshipping Santa Claus, and just like that, everything you thought you knew gets flipped on its head again. There is one particular scene in an elevator that really messed with my mind. For the purposes of this review, though, I won't spoil it. The art style is good and works well with the concept, the pixelated gore is actually pretty well done and can be considered less disturbing perhaps than some of the game's more trippy scenes. The music and sound effects are delicious, they really do help to amp up the dread factor. Quietly walking around a darkened room and suddenly hearing what appears to be several disembodied voices, only for them all to disappear at once when you flip a light switch, is a pretty unnerving experience. Not to mention those moments when a crazed lunatic spots you and takes pursuit. Game length may be variable depending on how long it takes you to solve some of the more audacious puzzles. It definitely doesn't come in under time though. There are several hours of enjoyment to be had here at the $15 price tag. The Long Reach impressed me with its storytelling ability and puzzle difficulty levels. The horror elements run deep, and whilst it may not be the most terrifying game you've ever played, the nature of the horror in this title means they have license to mess with your head in the best way possible. 
don't expect any hand-holding. Easily frustrated gamers might be turned off by the lack of tutorial, waypoints, and hints. Those of you who are up for the challenge will thoroughly enjoy the one you get here, though. I played the PS4 version for this review, but the Long Reach will also be available on PC, Xbox, and Nintendo Switch at $15 respectively. If you feel like it's been a while since you've had some sincere mindfuck horror in your life, now might be the time to grab some. Thanks for watching.